All right, hello ladies and gentlemen, it's VMP here, welcome back. This time we're here with a little more Perizno, and God, it's been so long, so long coming, but this episode is the final episode of the Zan Dynasty. All right, so uh, I've been doing a lot of work in between episodes, and uh, essentially it's just been battling Zan Castle after Zan Town after Zan Castle. Um, we haven't had to do all the lifting. The elves have actually made quite a decent comeback here. They took Fourn Iron, they took Lil, uh, a couple castles over here. They almost took this castle right here. Um, in fact, I assumed that they were going to. They had this castle down to like 50 troops in garrison, but then they died. They like, all their lords got taken out, probably about 15 of them. And so the castle got all the prisoners that they had and went whoop, right back up to a thousand. So that's great. Um, we've been doing pretty good. I, uh, we're up to nearly 3 million plus tons more in, like, our garrisons, or not our garrisons, but our treasuries, and sitting around in town, so we're probably up closer to, like, 5 million, I'd say. Um, we leveled up, which is getting to be pretty rare now, just because of how high a level we are. Um, what else we got going on? Oh, I changed our kingdom's culture to Gelderin, uh, so we could start recruiting Gelderin Dukes instead of Draken Ritters, because they're a lot better. Um, got 84 of them already, so we're gonna see how they fare in the siege. Uh, and what else? Oh, uh, <laughs> while the elves made a comeback, the dwarves did not, and Drahara managed to finish them off. I think they only had this one town left at the end of last episode, so it doesn't come as too much of a surprise. Drahara is actually looking pretty beefy right now, so that should be a good battle with them once we're done with the Xan. And I think we'll fight them. Um... Hmm, next? I don't know, or do we want to fight the elves next? I'm not really sure. Well, maybe we'll just let whoever declares war on us first, uh, seal their own fate. But anyways, let's go ahead and charge in here. Um, gonna level up quick though. So level 45, 444,000 experience. Jesus Christ, man. And it's gonna take us another 700,000 just to get to the next level. That'll probably happen. I don't know if we're gonna get beyond level 46 though. It's starting to get a little crazy. Um... Go ahead and put this attribute point into intelligence. I'm uh, getting a couple random stat or attribute upgrades, but it's not really all that common. Uh, we can, however, now that we have charisma up to 30, get leadership up to 10. Um, we'll see. We might keep on going with that and get it up to, you know, 11 or 12. Um, but we don't have the charisma to do that quite yet. So for this skill point, let's go ahead and put it into power strike. Yeah, I like that. Um, the Zan units are pretty beefy, and we're not quite able to one-shot a lot of them. Even some of their, like, mid to upper tier units, we're not able to one-shot. Not even, like, their elite units. Um, so I want to do a little more damage. Just put us over the edge so we are actually one-shotting them safely. Alright, let's go ahead and do it. Uh, so good news is, at least a decent amount of them are hurt. They only have 900 able to fight, rather than, like, a thousand. Um, and they're all prison units, so they shouldn't, you know on paper be that good or at least not as good as you know a normal garrison uh that's what i'm hoping i don't know could be completely off base here uh, this is a little interesting castle here um it would look like a whole bunch of them are exposed we'll see how our archers do it looks like they're doing all right we've gotten a lot of uh of the crimson uh rangers the lintorn crimson rangers just because of the the zan fighting with the elves right now um, they have a lot of them prisoners, so we're always able to rescue them. And that's nice, because they take a long-ass time to upgrade. Um, and they're some of the best units in the game. I mean, they're worth, like, 740 experience. They're level 60 units. So, they're definitely worth it. Last episode, I said something along the lines of, Oh, uh, when we took out the Xan, uh, Guardian, Emperor's Guardians, or whatever, those units. When I took them out, I was like, oh, shit, 740 experience. That's, like, the most that we've ever seen. I don't know why I said that. That was completely wrong. Um, we've, we've, we've killed units that are worth more than that. The Prisno Rune Knights are worth like a thousand or something crazy like that. So, I don't know. I don't know what VMP was smoking there. <laughs> but, uh, that was definitely not true. I will go ahead and charge in here as the reinforcements are just starting to arrive. Hopefully we can get in here before they do too much. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's see, get, get back down there for right now. Let's, uh, let's let our archers demolish another wave of them. They've still got plenty of arrows. And then we'll go ahead and come in. Um, actually, would not be a good time. Yeah, I tell you what, now's a good time before those guys actually get over here. Are we stuck? 
the fuck is this? Am I actually fucking stuck here? Seriously? Come on. Oh, everyone else can just run past, trample over me. We're stuck. Is it because we're a dwarf? Is it because we're smaller than them? We're not able to walk out of here? Can we back up? We can't jump? We can't even move. What the f- <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, come on. No, I wanted to fight. You know what? Fuck that. I'm gonna come back in and do that again. I'm not missing this entire battle. And this will give our archers another chance to pepper them down. What the hell was that? This is... I mean, this doesn't look like a castle that is custom. Like, I think this is one of the, you know, normal ones. So, I don't know. It, I mean, it's there's a very good possibility that it is because we're a dwarf. We got stuck there. So, I guess we'll just have to make sure to jump or just not use that side. We'll, like, walk up on the left side of the... Ele of, <laughs> I was about to say elevator. <laughs> left side of the, uh, the stairs. That should, that should be alright. But yeah, had some pretty big battles. Um, we're getting up there, man. We're really starting to get up there. Uh, in terms of kills, we're up to close to 20k, I want to say. Um, I've been playing for around 3 hours or so tonight. Uh, just, you know, finishing the other uh, Zan forts and castles and whatnot. And making sure that this episode we're able to finish them off. Um, so yeah, up to about 20,000 kills. Um, I don't know, I... You know, me and, uh, Beanie, holy shit, that guy got murdered. Me and, uh, Beanie Walrus have been talking a lot, uh, because he's, he has his own playthrough of this right now, so we're kind of, kind of pretty close, to, um, in terms of the game right now. He's kind of finishing off the Xan right now as well. Um, he's got a very high-end character. He plays a ton. Uh, like he, like I was talking to him, uh, right before the episode, and, uh, he was like talking about playing today and whatnot, and I was like, wait, how long have you been playing today? And he was like, oh, you know, seven hours. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't, you know, he's, I think he's kind of younger, so he's not, uh, not working quite yet or anything. So, yep, I remember those days. Summertime, no school, no work. Able to just sit down and play for hours at a time. Uh, those were the good old days. Now I still sit down and play a whole bunch. I just, you know, get sleep deprived because I also work. <laughs> But that's a decision I make on my own. All right. Um, but yeah, he's been getting, and so we've been trying to do some like, uh, I guess myth busting. <laughs> Not really myth busting, but trying to figure out what. Whoops, sorry, Duke. At least we didn't kill him. Um, we've been trying to figure out what exactly you need to do, or uh, how stat with those random stat points are uh, awarded. Because Lee Nyan specifically said, uh, I've tried asking him a couple times now. Um, sometimes like a little slyly, sometimes not so slyly. Like, what, what? how are these things given out? And every time, he's very vague. He says they're semi-random. And so maybe I'm reading too much into that. But I don't think it's just like, you know, oh, it's just random over time or whatever. Um, you know, we were thinking one of, our, one of our main theories is that it's based on the amount of kills that you have. So the more kills that you get... Uh, the more stat points, but I'm not sure if that's true, um, because I was looking be before I started recording, and I, at one point, had gotten 1,300 kills plus in a row, and not gotten a single stat point, and so, considering we only have, like, 18, 19,000 kills right now, that doesn't make any sense, um, because we've gotten way more random stat points than just, like, you know, 10 or 11 of them, so... I don't think that's it. Um, what it could be, because he did say that it was semi-random, is that maybe, and this was uh, Walrus's idea, or theory, that every like 100 kills or so, there's a 10% chance that you get a, a, a random stat point. And if that's the case, um, that'd be pretty cool. I don't mind that. Um, we've just been getting really unlucky recently, I guess, which is fine. That happens. That, that luck has been uh, all shifted to our Pendor series, where, where we just get Koalas Gem after Koalas Gem after Koalas Gem, so that's fine. Um, and I mean, I, there's not going to be many more episodes of this, because I think that, yeah, this series is definitely winding down. Um, that's why I've been doing a lot of action, or a lot of uh, fighting in between episodes, just because I know you guys are starting to... Uh, get a little bored of seeing the same thing over and over again, so I just want to show you the last couple factions, taking them out, um, getting up to 10 million like we uh, originally wanted, and then uh, we'll call it a day. We'll call it a series, because this has been a long one. It's been a fun one, though. It's been a real fun one. 
All right, that was a good siege. These Geldrin Dukes. Felt like they really went off there. Couldn't really see the kill feed too well. It got faded out, but that's a good sign. And we only lo what? We only lost one unit, one Geldrin Duke, taking out seven hundred of them. Ooh, Paladin of Faith. Holy shit. Okay, yeah, these guys are a lot better than the Dragon Ritters. I had no idea. Elintor and Moon Knight. That sounds pretty cool. We already have one, I think. Might have to check his stats out after this. See how good they really are. Templars of Faith. Wyvern Riders. Um, ooh, Crimson Rangers, definitely. Dragon Ritters. That's a lot of good units here. Um... Oh, I guess that's not too big of a surprise. They just took out the entire elven army. Um, any other units? Any other faith units? Mm, two disciples of faith. Okay. There were probably some more sitting in there, but there are some of the weaker ones, so I don't care too much. All right, there we go. First one down. And now, there remains but one. Not going to assign this castle to anybody because we actually just got a uh, whoops, got a whole bunch of Dwarven vassals joining us. Um, so I still haven't checked them out. We should probably do that actually right away after we take Leuven. Because I'm, it's been a little while in game and they might leave us. And we definitely want to recruit all the good ones while we can. Alright, here we go. Uh, tell you what, we'll stop in Vinica just to sell off all these prisoners and make a little bit of money. Mm-hmm, 45k, not too shabby. Alright, this battle could get a little hairy, because since it's the only town left, I'm assuming all the vassals that have been taken out recently are going to be spawning in here. Yep, okay, holy shit. I mean, it has 1,500 in the garrison. That by itself isn't that scary, but holy shit, there's a lot of dudes here. That being said... Oh no, there's <laughs> they got some big spearheads here as well. Ooh, Jesus Christ. Are they gonna attack me if I come in here? Uh, can we sneak in? No way they're just gonna let me sneak in. Okay, we just got Oh no, I tried to No 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 Damn it <laughs> I tried to they were gonna let us go, but because it was nighttime, it didn't automatically uh stop and go. Shit, okay, now I gotta get out of here. Um Okay. We just, I mean, all we gotta do is just kill a couple of these units. Uh, like, you know, 20, 30 of them, and then we can just... Ooh, what the fuck is that guy? He has Twilight Armor. Um, Ericanus? <laughs> Did you leave us and join them? No, Ericanus is on our side. He's already gotten two kills, because he's a beast like that. Yeah, I wonder what the fuck that unit was. Maybe it was a uh, Lord or something. They got their own, some of their Crimson Rangers. We're actually demolishing them right now. Do we even need to... Do we even need to run? How many... How big were we outnumbered here? Oh, hugely outnumbered. How are we even doing this well? What the fuck? We should not be doing this well against... They outnumber us 10 to 1 on the battlefield, which means in, in person, they're probably outnumbering us way more than that. Alright, here we go. Now some of our units are starting to go down. Okay, we can get out of here. Just in a sec here. I want to get a few more kills. There we go. And you. And you. Okay, let's get out of here now. Boom. Yeah, shit. 88 kills and didn't lose a single person. Yeah, they outnumber us 3,300 to 377. Not even close. Not even close. So, that guy that's attacking us right now is coming in from there. Can I Can I just go in on Leuven right now? Oh, we can. Oh, shit. Okay. We need to win this in one siege. We need to win this in one siege. Oh, man. This is a big town, huh? What, is there, like, no wall there? There's just a river running through it? Could we theoretically just walk in through that river and attack them? I think we might be able to. Look at our guys coming over here. How deep is this thing? Oh, no, there's an invisible wall here. We can't actually move. We have to go through over this bridge. Okay. That makes a little sense. I was going to say, easiest siege ever. Just walk through their walls. No big deal. And I suppose, in reality, it probably wouldn't be that easy to take out anyways. Um, just because any units that were trying to cross that river, it's too big to just walk across. 
Um, and if you were trying to swim across, you'd be just sitting ducks for all the archers. Ouch. Speaking of which, we're getting lit up by some of their archers. I'm not sure who. I didn't see the ones that are shooting at us. Where are they at, though? I don't know. Got all of our guys shooting at them, though. I feel like they don't have too many units here for some reason. Like, they're all, like, holding back or something. I don't know. This is the final Zan Siege, so I don't mind if we take heavy casualties here. That's perfectly okay. That is perfectly okay, because we'll have a whole bunch of time to strengthen back up. And actually, I've been thinking about trying to go through some of our garrisons and just giving away a bunch of the shitty units that we're never going to use um, to, like, lords or whatever. Just buff them up. Or even... Actually, what we could do is just give them to uh, Princess Burgett, like, put them in her castles. Uh, that way, you know, in, if the, in case of disaster, we do have more units. Um, and those castles will never get taken. I'm going to turn night going down. Alright, tell what. Let's go ahead and charge our boys in and see what happens. Our archers aren't really doing a whole lot. Yeah, I don't know. For some reason, these guys, I guess they're just out of view of them. I see a whole lot of the Zan Emperor guards, though, here. I don't like them. I mean, for a... For a for a super elite unit, like they're the best unit that the Zan have, they're not that amazing. Um, you know, they're no no paladins of faith, no no templars of faith, anything like that. But they're not bad. They still pack a punch. All right, come on, let's go, let's go. It's showtime. So I got like a mix of Elven and uh and Zan units here. That's actually not a bad combination. The elves for the range and the Zan for the infantry, that's a pretty good combo. Um, luckily, they don't seem to be the strongest units. They don't have a, too many of their top tier units here, so I think we'll do alright, especially with the Geldern Dukes that we have. Seriously, like the Geldern Dukes are some really good units, and um, oh shit, we're nearly dead. We're nearly dead, when do we take all this damage? I'm not paying attention. Shit, we really gotta make sure we stay alive here. Um, because with all the troops that are coming at us outside of uh, this town right now, we can't afford to uh, come back in. This is our one shot. One opportunity, in the words of Eminem. Um, all right, okay. Once we can get our boys pushing in a little bit further, we should be able to move our archers into the, to this wall right here. And they'll just be able to rain fire down on the reinforcements, and it should be pretty good. Uh, let's see, got some archers where at? All the way over there? Yeah, okay, they got a little buttress over there. Okay, uh, tell me what, we'll go ahead and move our archers in right now. Put them, like, right here so that eh, they're going to block the stairway regardless. Just want to limit that if we can. Any more health for... Oh, there we go. Health for us. Can we heal our troops as well? Please? Please? Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. Hopefully our archers didn't uh, blow their wad already. Shoot their wad. Oh my god, there's a bunch of them stack here. Alright, well. Let's hope they don't turn on us. We got a decent amount of health, but there's no really... There's nowhere for us to hide if these guys all turn and uh, attack us. We can't handle them. But they're not uh, even all Xan archers. There's some elven archers. And while the Zan archers are kind of not fun to take on in uh, melee combat, when there's a group of them, the elves are fine because they're just sword and shield. It's starting to kill a decent amount of our uh, dukes. Well, not really kill them, just knock them unconscious. Um, mm, doing alright. I mean, I'm hoping our archers get in here and start doing something. Where are they at? Start firing, doing something, baby. Uh, I'll tell them to spread out. So where are these archers? It's these guys, I think, that are really hurting them. Drop some healing. A little bit too late, though, for most of them. How do I get up there? There's a staircase that we could use to take out those archers. Alright, I guess we could do that. Don't want to attract all these dudes. Oh. Holy shit. There's so many reinforcements here. Oh my god, okay. What the fuck, I'm just waiting for them to be done, but they're they're not leaving. It looks like our archers are starting to take effect, though. See some, yep, 
Crimson, Crimson Rangers go into town. We've got like 30 or so of the dudes that level up into them. So in between episodes, after this one is done, and we are presumably, I'm hoping, going to be at peace for a while. Just kind of build up our... Uh, Build up our bank account. I'm going to try to really work on leveling up the faith units. Because I want to get at least 100 paladins of faith. Um, I don't know if that's going to be possible. Because the thing is, Templars of Faith are level 60 units. And um, the amount of XP required to level up for you know both us and for regular units um, is exponential as the level goes up. So at level 60, which is you know the highest you can really get without glitching out the game... Um, at least as far as characters go, it's going to take so much XP to level those guys up. So I'm going to try. Uh, if it, you know, if I work for them and if I take out like several armies of them or several armies with just those units and none of them level up, none of the Templars or anything, then uh, we might just have to level up what faith units we have. We got about 130 of them. Level up all of them into Templars and call that good enough. Um, and that probably would be good enough. I, what I really want to do is get an army of Drakenmeisters and high tier faith units and just see what they can do. Um, and we'll probably have to use that army to take out, uh, what's it called, the Realm of the Falcon because they are nasty. You guys remember them from the beginning of this series, the very beginning, when we were when we were a member of the Hacken Empire and how quickly the Realm of the Falcon demolished everything that that empire owned? Yeah. Um, we're gonna have to go against them at some point. And I believe they actually have more fiefs now and more lords than they had before. So, it ain't gonna be easy. And we never took those guys out in the siege, so... I don't think the sieges are gonna be much better either. Because they just have some really well-armored units that have blunt damage-dealing weapons that pierce through armor. So, even if we get a bunch of elite units, the, the armor is only gonna do so much against them. So, who knows. Alright, well, uh, we seem to be pushing through pretty well here. I don't know where these guys are coming from. This doesn't even look to be part of the castle. Um, it looks like they're, like, spawning outside of the castle, coming through a different entrance into the castle to fight us inside their own castle. Um, that's what it seems like. I don't know. Uh, elves can't really reach them. I guess we could tell them to... Where are these dudes spawning at? I want, I want to put our archers somewhere that they can actually reach them. But I'm worried that we might not really be able to. I got like this mountain thing over here. Alright, I see, I see. Um, okay, elves, where could you hit them? If you were on top of here, would you be able to see them? I think they'd be able to. Alright, elves. Try right here. Yeah, they were right there. At least some of them should be able to shoot down. Do a little bit of damage. Probably not a ton would be able to get shots, but a few would. We'll see if they can if they can figure this out. Oh no, they're not going up. Come on, come upstairs. We're up here. Alright, right now. Right here. Can I tell them to follow me? Then will they come up here? Hello. Oh, over here. Ooh. Oh, oh, the first, yeah, there we go, there we go, you figured it out. Now, will you actually shoot? No, okay, all right, well, great having this talk, great having this talk. Uh, holy shit, okay, yeah, they're all just standing in there, not doing jack shit. If we were feeling suicidal, we could jump down there and start uh, hitting them from behind, but they still have too many of those mounted berserkers for my liking. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the recording for a quick sec. Um, wait for us to either break through this uh, this little stranglehold that they got here. Um, and then uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll be able to finish things up here before too long. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, I fucked up. I pressed shift tab in order to open up the Steam overlay to uh, respond to... Beanie Walrus, and, um, it, uh, took us out of the fighting. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, um, so this means... Huh. <laughs> this means that we are going to have to run away again. 
Okay. Ooh, okay. At least we got away. At least we got away. All right. That's something. Oh, you want to fight me? You want to fight me? Bruh. Bruh. Get over here. Oh, it's just you. Yeah, none of your boys even came to help you out. All right. Here we go. We'll take him out. I mean, we're probably going to have to end up taking out these dudes anyways. What? You killed 107 enemies in this battle? <laughs> Before it even started? God, what a legend. We're the best, aren't we? <laughs> um... All right. I mean, we're, yeah, we're probably gonna have to take out these last 3,000 anyways. Um, if we kill all their heroes, I don't know why I keep on saying heroes. If we kill all their um, lords now, though, we won't have to hunt them down later, as long as we quick take out Leuven, uh, so they can't respawn. Uh, so this might not actually be a bad thing to fight these guys. If we can pick them off one by one, maybe work them down to like a thousand, fifteen hundred or so of them, and then go in to finish them off. I think if we got him down to 1,500, we'd easily be able to finish the rest of them off. It really wouldn't be too bad. Because, um, I mean, we saw in that initial fight where we killed, like, 90 of them and only lost one dude ourselves. Um, yeah, we're good. We're fine. Actually, we didn't even lose anybody, I don't think, did we? No, we lost, like, yeah, I think we lost, like, one guy. All right, there we go. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Yeah, the Geldrin Dukes, they're, they're better than I thought. A lot better than I thought. We've had a few of them before, but I guess I just never noticed. We never had enough of them that I really noticed how much work they were doing. Need to let them heal up, though, before we try to go in again. Because uh, most of them are hurt right now. Alright, there we go. First one down. Um, God, those spearheads, though. There's like three of them, four of them. There's another one back here, I think, and each of them have three to four hundred troops. That's the main source of their, uh... Oh, here we go. Okay, they're following robbers. I'm gonna have to pick these guys off while well, they're away. Or we can go back into Leuven. One of the two. Um, so what, so what would that be? Another 700 of them taken out? Yeah, we can probably do that. We can do that. And hopefully not lose too many of our units here. We'll let them fight that. Then we'll come back in. Alright, 327 against 763. This should be fine. This should be fine. And then, at this point, after we've killed that many of them, the other guys might not even come in to really fight us now. Because they'll be down, I mean, they'll still have like 2,000 units. So, they'll probably still fight us, but you never know. Sometimes the AI, um, when it's built up into multiple groups, it doesn't realize that it has the numbers advantage. So, they might not actually come in and fight us. We'll have to just see. I'm starting to get used to this dread mount, this dreaded wolf. Um, took a while because the thing's fast as shit, but now we're starting to get used to it, and we can really use it to our advantage. Because it's so fast, it has so much charge and whatnot, um... That is nice because in normal situations with, a, with any other mount where we'd get stuck in a pile of troops, sometimes it can just trudge through. Uh, even if it comes to a complete halt, it can just start walking again, even though it's got units on it. So, that's really useful. Especially when, you, when you're fighting against the Xan, when a whole bunch of them have uh, spears and whatnot that automatically stop it in its uh, tracks. I wish they wouldn't do that. That's really annoying. Because... Um, I, I understand the idea behind the mechanic, um, and I understand that spears should deal extra damage to mounts and all that, especially when they're charging at them, but I don't think they should stop the mount in its tracks. I mean, if anything, the speed is just going to cause the spear to go through it. The spear isn't going to, you know, one guy holding a spear is not going to stop this, or stop this, I don't know, like 15, actually maybe even more than that, 15, 2,000 pound wolf. At charging at like 40 miles per hour. I'm sorry, he's just not gonna stop it. That's like stopping a car going 40 miles per hour. I don't care how buff you think you are, you're not going to. You ain't that big, son. You're not that big. Alright, this seems to be going pretty well. Try to drop some more healing for our troops here. Um, tell our archers to chill right here. They're close enough now, so we'll just have them line up. And, uh, yeah, things should be good. If I, man, if this army is doing so well, can you, I mean, just, just think what this army of, of paladins and Drakenmeisters is going to be like. 
I I'm just trying to imagine it. But it's just the pure slaughter. <laughs> the pure slaughter. I mean, I don't know. Maybe the Lintoran Dukes are effectively as good when you're when you're going against units as weak as these. Um, just because I, I think the Dukes can basically one-shot them. So there's not much advantage to having super elite units since the Dukes already can one-shot them. Um, I don't know. The Dukes aren't, aren't going to be knocking them out with dragons. That's the other thing is the dragons deal a ton of charging damage. Oh god, our archers are just raining bolt or arrows in here. This is, oh my god, this is a slaughter. Now see, this is where tactics come into play. This is where tactics work. Our, our Pendor series, you know, there's not much tactics that you can really do when you're going against, you know, unique spawns that just have 500 cavalry units. But these guys, these guys you can use tactics against and it's glorious. In fact, they, I mean, there goes 700 units right there. <laughs> 700 units dead just like that. All right. We good? Awesome. How many do we lose? Seven units. Only seven. Jesus. 29 remaining? Why don't you just throw those 29 in the last battle? Uh, little rocks. We'll drop some healing for our troops right away. Uh, not really so much for our troops, but for our heroes, so they're all the way up. Although, you know, it's Arcanus. I doubt he, uh... See, I wonder how many... See, we knocked out... We knocked out three dudes with that charge alone. We just, we didn't even use a weapon. We just came running in. And the wolf was just like, boom, boom, boom. Like a freaking linebacker on, not even a linebacker on steroids. Well, like, you know, five NFL linebackers hitting you at the same time. Yeah, that's how you die. <laughs> that is how you die. And it's done. Just like that. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Mm hmm Take these guys prisoner. Uh, anybody to level them up? Fazil, Agnar. Okay, we'll deal with you guys later. Just because I know it pisses Dan off. <laughs> Alright, so they're down. Um we need to heal up a little bit, so we'll let we'll let that happen. But all of a sudden these guys are not looking nearly as strong. I mean they see they still have two more two, three, four possibly five spearheads six spearheads left oh no it's an escort five or six spearheads and escorts jesus man uh oh hello they're starting to leave a little bit what's going on here what is going on here this guy's coming in to fight are the elves sending in their army this guy wants to fight me seriously we must have not noticed his, uh, his buddies leaving him for some other battle. They're not backing you up, buddy. They're not backing you up. Oh, okay. For a hot second there, I thought those knights were, uh, um, paladins of faith or, or templars of faith or something like that. I was like, oh, sh what did we just get ourselves into? <laughs> um, it's like, he's actually, he actually wanted to charge us. He knew that was just him and he was perfectly fine with that. So he's got some paladins. I wonder how many... Yeah, I don't know if we could take on a full army of paladins, man. I mean, a hundred of them? It'd be close. I think it'd be really freaking close. With as, as elite of our units as we have, those paladins, man, with those, uh... Those little clubs and whatnot, the morning stars, whatever they call them, that deal piercing damage or blunt damage, I forget. Either way, cuts through our armor like butter. Like Buddha. Some King Harless Butter. Alright. Yep, that was easy. <laughs> no need to fret. That was not bad at all. Very good. Mm-hmm. You're my prisoner. Don't want you spawning back in. I'll go ahead and do a little bit of this. Thank you. Ooh, that's worth a decent amount of money. I don't know why I'm still taking loot to sell it, because it's so it's such an insignificant amount of money compared to what we make every week, but I don't know. Whenever I see something worth like ten grand, I'm always like, oh, I want it. Oh, here we go. They're distracted. Quick, go into Leuven. Before they before they take out that poor lord. It's gonna be quick. Let's just go in. <laughs> no time to waste. Alright, uh let's send our archers in right there. 
cavalry infantry follow me we're just gonna go right in we're not gonna wait for our archers this time to shoot them because they don't really do all that much and i want actually want our archers to conserve their ammo um i think this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna not charge our infantry in too far we're gonna stay in that little courtyard so the enemies can keep on charging out at us because we don't like that choke point um and that way our archers that'll be up on the wall will still be able to shoot them for the whole siege or at least until wow that, that's that cleaver was like shining it looked sick as fuck for a minute. I was like, is I actually, like, what crossed my mind was, I was like, is that a lightsaber? Um, thank God, no. Thank God they haven't, they haven't researched those technologies quite yet. With how long this campaign's been, it's probably not long. We're so far into the future, uh, that they're eventually going to start researching future weaponry. That'd be kind of cool if they had a, uh, Mountain Blade-like game that was, uh, you know, similar to like Civ or whatever, where that you know you go through the the ages. I mean, I know I know there's stuff like you know Nova Atis where you have different ages, but like set like you know from from caveman era all the way up until like the future era. That'd be so sick. That would be yeah, that would actually be insane. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I mean, you could could you could you make tanks in Mountain Blade? Could you make tanks work? I mean, obviously not with a current engine, but would it be feasibly possible? I mean, it's, all, it's definitely possible. You know, you have to probably make your own game for it, though. Have an all-new kind of engine, but that... <laughs> that's the game that you, uh, that you waste so many hours of your life playing. Jesus Christ. And, uh, and then, and then, if you want to really step it up, make it an MMO, boom. That's it. That's, that's no longer a game. That becomes a career. That becomes your lifestyle choice. What's up with you? Oh, I play uh, Mountain Blade 3. Oh, so that's all you do, huh? That's your job. <laughs> that's what it would be. God, Mountain Blade 3. I mean, we know that's not going to come out to like, what, 2040? 2045 at the earliest, something like that? Uh, it hurts because it's true. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to tell our dudes to chill like right here. Right there. That should be fine. Um, no one else to fight over here. Do we have some units over there I might jump down and take out? Uh, yeah, might as well. I'll go ahead and, uh, take out this guy over here. I'll like, yeah, we can just walk up this, yeah, this staircase, take those guys out and walk over there and take out that archer's nest. Oh, they're starting to shoot at us. They realize what's about to happen. It's too late. Just, shh, 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 shh. Just let it happen, baby. Just let it happen. <laughs> All right. Um, the siege seems to be going pretty well, though. Yep, 200 plus dead. We've only lost seven dudes. Yeah, seven guys. We're fine. Because they they should only should be under a thousand. Ah, eh, they got a few vassals in here, so there'll be around a thousand troops left uh, for us to take out, uh, which really should not be too bad. These archers don't know what they're doing. Ouch. Yeah, especially since we uh, those first five or six hundred that we took out were mo most of their elite units. So, I mean, they still got some of their mounted berserkers, their kamikaze warriors, but I don't think those guys will last for too terribly much longer. Uh, and then we should be gold. What is up with our archers, man? Do they they like just don't know where what I'm asking them to do? Um, shit. I don't want them to come here though. We're getting blocked by uh by the house, I think, or something. Okay, here we go. Shit. No, 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 no. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Okay, wall. Stay on the wall. Stay on the wall. And just shoot there. Okay. That should be fine. How many dudes are up here? In this thing. Uh, oh, ooh, Jesus. Actually, a decent amount. Okay. Okay. And they, like, heard us mumbling to ourselves. They came out, they're like, you fucking what, mate? <laughs> Yeah, fucking what? Alright, those guys are down. Let's see if there's anybody up. Oh, yep. Yes, there is. Get out of here. Boom. Yeah, I think the elves are maybe actually considering coming in and trying to siege this place, too. And that's why that one guy came in. Um, <laughs> didn't have anybody backing him up yet. So I don't know if the elven army is just behind him or something. And they haven't gotten here yet or what. But, uh... He was not prepared. He like he like charged in, and the Zan vassals were like, it, "Really? Is is just you? Okay." And then it was like, 
3,000 on 200. Kind of like what they did to us. Except, you know, at least we can kind of fight that off. That dude didn't stand a chance. All the Crimson Rangers in the world cannot hold that off. Not those odds. It'd be fun to do a couple sieges, though, with a bunch of Crimson Rangers and see what that's like. Alright, uh, archers seem to be doing pretty good. They're actually able to take out the Berserkers pretty well because they don't have siege, or they don't have shields. Are these guys, are these units getting stuck over here? What's going on here? What is, uh, what's up here? Huh. Fuck, we might have to end up charging our troops in here anyways. This is going to really piss me off. Still have Kamikaze Warriors spawning in. How? I don't... Hmm. I don't get it. Those are normally in the top of the top of their garrison. So the first one's out, first one's down. But clearly not the case. I mean, they're like they're still trickling in, but I think it's just the archers aren't charging in, and so it's starting to get held up a little bit. Maybe we should charge our units in. Yeah, I think we're just going to charge them in. They're, uh, it's taking too long. All right. Well, it's at that point again, so I'll be back with you guys once uh, once something has happened. Probably just the end of the siege at this point. We're already about halfway through them. They only got shitty units left, and it's just going to kind of be a trudge to get through them. So I'll be back uh, once we're done. Okay, I think we're reaching the end here. I, uh, I ended up jumping off the castle into the crowd of enemies and then retreating back over here to this part of the town. Um, this is actually a really cool map. I like it. Um, I just wish there uh, there's some way to get back past that choke point over there, but uh, that's fine. We're uh, oh shit, more enemy. Okay, um, I thought we were done. Thought that was the last wave of reinforcements that, that they were getting, but I see I was wrong. Damn, how many? Uh, I've already killed a thousand of them. I guess they got another two hundred left at, at least. All right, shit. All right, <laughs> um, not what I expected, but that's fine. We can uh, just slaughter these fools and probably get taken out ourselves. Uh, I know it was probably a bad idea jumping and joining in to uh, this part of the fray. And by this part of the fray, I mean starting this part of the fray because there are no other units backing us up here. But uh, what can I say? I was curious. Um, as they say, curiosity kills the cat. And if that's the case, uh, then I'm a pussy. Cat, that is, you know. Um, <laughs> Alright, yeah, we're working our way through these guys. Um, hopefully they don't have another one. Not another reinforcement wave. Can I get any healing? Alright, we can heal our troops at least. No healing for us quite yet. Ooh, it's gonna get dicey. Alright, we gotta really push these guys. And then... Okay, we're gonna be good. Look at that kill feed! It's all us, baby. It's all us. Oh my god, still another reinforcement wave, huh? Y'all ain't done yet. My god. Put up one hell of a last stand, at least. I mean, not really in terms of numbers. We've only lost 27. Although, that being said, this 128 troops that we have are probably... about it, then? Oh, shit. Yeah, these are probably our, about it for our uh, troops. Um... I mean, it should be fine. I don't think they have too many guys left themselves. And we're already doing a lot of the heavy lifting here. Come on. Come on. There we go. The kill feed's still looking good, so I guess I can't really complain. Might charge our archers in here. Don't know how much work they're really doing from up there anymore. Um, yeah, you know, fuck it. We'll go ahead and charge our archers in now. Um, as much as they aren't, we don't have as many Kaiserlich uh, in sharpshooters, like we have a whole lot of Elven Archers now, I think they'll do fine in, in combat, especially against the, the weaker Zan units that are spawning in right now. I wouldn't be sending them in if they still had a bunch of the Kamikaze units, the Berserkers and all that, but against these guys, they should be just fine. Especially with a little bit of uh, help from our regular infantry, our hard sharpshooters, and the other good melee units. Did they get another reinforcement win? No, I don't think so, not yet. But every time they do, they get 100 units. It's kind of hard to tell if they're petering out or not. I mean, hmm, some of these units are still spawning in, so it's not like just their leather-clad units, because that's when I really know it's over, when it's just these dudes. Uh, but it's not just those dudes yet. It's still, it's like 50-50. 
Oh shit, Aegis finally went down. Okay. I will take this shield here, if you don't mind. Thank you. Oh, oh, get up. Get off me. No, don't do it. Don't hurt me. Please. I know I've killed hundreds and hundreds of your comrades in this siege alone, but no need to take it out on me. Oh shit, I got like a whole firing squad here. Alright, we're gonna back up, because we're starting to get low. And I want Torvik to remain alive for this whole siege. The final battle of the Xan. Well, probably not the last battle, but the last siege at least. We'll let their other units run around like uh, chickens with their heads cut off for a little while. Until they get wiped out by probably the elves. The elves will finish them off. Um, we'll just make sure that the Xan don't retake any castles. We should be good to go. Should be good to go. Alright, we got our hit points back. Let's go in. Our units... The kill feed is overwhelming. Oh my god, they had another one. Wow, I was so far off. I thought that we were done when I started recording again. I was extremely mistaken. They're still getting some of these, uh, what are, what are these units even called, man? The veteran bowmen. They're still getting some. I notice we are doing a lot more damage now. We're actually one-shotting a decent amount of these guys. Before, I was not at all. Um, I'd have to get a really good hit in in order to one-shot them. Now it's just like mediocre hits are able to take them out. Okay, here we go. Now, now it's looking less of the veterans and more of the gump squad coming in. I think this one's almost done now. <laughs> At long last. Fuck, did they like re reinforce their garrison or something? I just don't understand how they had so many dudes left. We're coming up on like 1,500 of them. Um, oh, this is it. Oh, this is it. This is it. Okay. Coming up on killing 1,500 of them after we'd already taken like five, 600 of them out in the first siege. So I guess maybe their lords that were in here just had a ton of freaking units. I didn't notice. The, it's not that the emperor wasn't in because we actually have him prisoner right now, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, I don't know. Whatever. That's fine. We're winning it after all. We're getting tons of kills and XP in the process. I almost wish there were some more siege defenses we could do. Um, that's kind of why I gave ourselves Fry Zing. Uh, I'm not sure if that, was, that wasn't in between episodes, was it? It might have been. But I gave ourselves Fry Zing just because when we take out the Valahir clan, um, that'll be the closest one to them, and I hope they siege that. And I'll probably actually not station it with too many troops, just so that it's more likely that they come in and siege it. And then... Uh, then we can have that whole thing happen again, where uh, <laughs> we get five, six hundred kills in a single battle. Probably even more of that now, because the Valahir clan is going to have tons of freaking vassals as more of these factions go down. Alright, there we go. 28 dudes lost, not bad at all, and 1,500 of them taken out. Tokugawa, you are my prisoner. Um, General Calric, huh? Oh, you're good-natured. All right, all right, you're good to go. Get out of here. Eagle Lord, two Templars of Faith, and prisoners. Um, we're getting a little low on units. I like this. I've been hanging around the 400 mark recently, but uh, yeah, that's that's fine. We don't need to. We need to. Yeah, we don't need to take shitty units just to buff our numbers up. We're doing fine right now. And I'll, I, honestly, I'll probably hire another 50 or so of the Gilder and Dukes pretty soon here. Um, get them training up, because they've been putting in work this episode. Alright. There we go. At long last, the Xan have no, no land remaining. It's been... <laughs> Oh, Fazil was accidentally injured during today's training. Really? We had training immediately after that siege? I find that unlikely. Yeah, so the Zan still have 2,000 units left here. Um, oh, that dude actually managed to escape. I don't know how. I don't know. He got caught up later. Okay. It looks like we're good. They're not besieging it, are they? I don't think they are. We'll hang in here for a little bit more just to make sure we're all healed up. We'll recruit some nobles. Then get the fuck on out of here. All right. Goodbye. Farewell. Good night, my sweet prince. We're heading back to Murdenhall. Uh, Cause oh yeah, that's right. We still got a whole bunch of dudes to uh, recruit. Some new lords. Some good lords, hopefully. 
I, we're only going to take the good-natured ones, I think, uh, this time. Normally, we take the martial ones as well. This time, we're just going to do the uh, good-natured ones. Okay, let's see here. First up, Archduke Tarikus. Okay, good-natured. Welcome aboard. We'll take you. Uh, Duke Arnulf. Oh, shit. Who? Oh, he's sadistic. Son of a bitch. Okay, we're actually going to have to get rid of that dude right away. I'm not trying to have any sadistic lords on our side. Uh, you, sadistic as well. Get the fuck out of here. And about that. Okay, can we... Is it Tyrekus? What's his name? Arnulf, right? Okay. That pissed off a whole bunch of our lords. Pissed off basically everybody from the looks of it. But whatever. He's gone. Right? That was the right dude. Tell me we didn't just do that to the good guy, right? Yeah. Okay. We did that to the right guy. Get the fuck out of here. Alright. There we go. And let's, uh... I, that's not as many lords as I thought joined us. I guess it's just the first wave. Not all the lords go uh, go to new factions right away. So we'll probably have some more joining us pretty soon. Uh, let's give Leuven to that new guy. Because uh, he's friendly. Seems like a good guy. Um, but what else do we want to do? we got a couple castles here to give up as well. Uh, we'll give another one to him. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm really a fan of him. Let's see if we can't get that up to... Uh, get that up to 100 real quick so we can get a... Skill point from him. It's up to 80. And we're just going to give him a bunch of random shit. Who's getting pissed off with us here? There's a couple guys that aren't too happy with this. Duke Rinal. What? Duke Rinal? Who is he? And why is he getting pissed off? Who's this guy? How long have we had him? Here. Stop getting so pissy. Um, we got one more castle to give out. We'll save that for right now for the next person to come in. 87. One more. There we go. I hope he's a good lord. <laughs> like, in terms of strength, because we just gave him a whole bunch of shit. Come here. Uh-huh. Give me some more charisma. Nice. All right. Thank you, mate. All right. Let's go ahead and end it off there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Bit of a longer episode, but uh, a good one. Definitely a good one. The Xan are defeated, and uh, now I guess I'm just going to be uh, grinding in between episodes, get our, getting our strength up, and getting ready for whoever tries to challenge the Gilded Kingdom next. Look, how, look at all this land. Look at all this land that is now ours. Basically the entirety of the center of Perizno, and even towards the sides. So, we'll see. Anyways, uh, ooh, oh no, okay. I thought they had... Thought Drahara had taken Fountain Hall from the Realm of the Falcon, but that's not the case. Anyways, as always, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think about this series and all the rest of the series we got going on right now. And as always, take it easy, guys.